I hope everyone's doing well. So this video is going to be over the 16th, which is today. Coming into the day, let me do like this. Chart's a little screwed up. Let's see here. I mean, again, I said it before, but we hadn't touched the moving average in a long time. I think we're going to touch the moving average. This is climactic. Case in point, monthly chart. I mean, at some point, we're going to go outside down. I mean, you, you just you think about the fact that this is the only bar that's gone below a bar, and it's a, it's a it was an exhaustive bar. So and then we had a second inch. I mean, this is just it's climactic, and we've almost gone a measure move up of maybe not of that, but not quite. I mean, so far. We've got, I mean, we're right at 40, I don't know, if have we reached 4,400? No. I mean, 17, 16 points away from 4,400, obvious magnet. Uh, let's see here. Just go to a five-minute chart. No, I don't want to do that. Let me go back to here, click on this chart. So gap up, we went sideways into yesterday. And well, we went sideways most of the day, had a bear breakout, rallied back. And typically, whenever you have a day like this, actually, I don't know if I talked about this day. I'll I'll come back to this and do this. I'll follow up with this video. So I'm going to pretend like I already talked about it. But sideways end of the day, big gap up, terrible first bar. The odds are you're going to see some sort of, the odds are this in the low of the day. So 20% chance it's low of the day. I think it might be less than that. But it's a good rule of thumb. One out of, one out of every five days, typically the low of the day. And bar two, consecutive inside bars, 10 minute chart, it's closing on its low. Uh, you know, kind of like this. So, what happened here? Ah, oh, you know what? It would be helpful if I had the right day. 10 minute chart looks like that. By the way, daily chart, just so we can see it. That's the daily chart, so. <laughs> uh, we're close to outside down. We didn't quite get there, but now we have a stop entry short, but the channel's pretty tight. Uh, monthly chart, again, damaging. 16, it's the 16th of July. We have plenty of time to get down to this. This So, you know, somewhat makes me think that we're going lower and we're going to test maybe down somewhere over here. Uh, let's see, 60 minute chart, you know, again. Well, here, let me just go back to the 10 minute chart and you know, whenever you see this, I mean, this is a big 15 minute bar. And what I'm trying to point out is as you keep changing your time frame, similar to the other day over here, it's becoming a, a bigger and bigger stop entry, but that doesn't, you don't need to know that it's, it's kind of, it's just more food for thought, kind of a nice thing to, it's important to understand. Let me put it that way. So, Consecutive big bear bars always in short stop above, but stops far away. Could be a sell vacuum test of the close, moving average, you know, anywhere in here. But odds are strong enough, big enough surprise, we're probably going to go lower. Uh, and then we have follow through after the breakout bar, so increase the chances of again further lower. Starting pause may bounce, so some traders will buy for a quick scalp. This is not a buy for a swing, so, and this is a pretty you know, it's difficult and I don't know if it's really worth it, but you buy the clothes at 56, or maybe, you know, let's just say 56, 25. And the size of these bars are, you know, maybe you go for two points. I mean, I think a lot of traders that are doing that, that's not exact. I mean, they're really buying, below, they're buying the lows of this bar because if you buy the clothes, you have traders that will sell above. So they'll see this and they'll immediately start selling and put a stop up here and they'll sell betting that we'll get a second leg down, just like that. And I wouldn't focus on that. What I would focus more on is the overall always in direction. So it's always in short, you know, if you get out, which there's really no reason to, you know, you gotta look to sell again. So if you get out above this bar, you, you know, maybe you sell there, but your stops now up here and 
big breakouts, you move your stop here, and then you get this and you say, oh, it's a, it's a wedge, but it's too strong. Maybe this is restarting the push and we'll get two more pushes down. Big bar. So now it's getting parabolic. So sell climax, pause, sell climax, pause, another sell climax, 60% chance. I mean, we are going to get 10 bars, two legs, uh, but you have to be careful because we may test all the way down to here. But we could get it, we'll probably get a small second leg down, but you have to be careful when you see these consecutive cell climaxes. Usually it means there's not a lot left to the move. It's just becoming too exhaustive. Bears, you know, I don't think a lot of bears will necessarily get out above here. Some will, and they'll get trapped. And some may be willing to get out above that bar. I don't think a lot would. And then you get a huge bear bar. Then you get a follow through bar. So again, odds favor a little bit more down, but fairly climactic but you can sell down here and put a stop up here but you have to be kind of quick to make decisions it can be it can be tricky because you'll get that and then you get that and then what do you do you know sell the clothes and this is kind of what I was talking about you know breakout bad follow through breakout bad follow through breakout bad follow through traders will be disappointed they sold this close some will look to get out of break even, so they sell the close, disappointed, try to sell more higher, or sell, they try to buy back their shorts. Other traders will sell and sell more higher and look to get out around 50%. And look what happened here. The close was 37.25, the low was 37.50, so it couldn't get back there. She so had so many traders trying to buy back shorts that we couldn't get back to the close. Some traders will say this is climactic, 10 bars, two legs, I'll just get out and they'll look to get out but it didn't trigger so in theory you'll have some always in bulls or always in bears that are still short and some always in bulls looking to buy but i don't think it's that great of a buy i think it's more of getting out of shorts looking to sell higher and now i would probably get out of, i'd get out of shorts above that bar and just wait and then you get a strong breakout bar probably forming more of a trading range you know this probably is not the low of the day and it could be the low of the day, but the odds are you'll need some sort of major trend reversal, kind of like, you know, bear trend, trend line break to pull back. This was exhaustive though. Disappointment. So again, further, further showing that we're probably going to go sideways. And then we get a breakout and then we got some new low. And as you can see, we bears got out. They were able to get out and avoid a loss. Starting to go sideways, a couple legs up, not enough really down. Still probably a minor reversal, may have to grow into like an expanding triangle or something larger. So, you know, starting to form more bars. And, you know, one of the things you have to think is, again, when I was talking over here, you know, here I was saying it's climactic. This is unsustainable behavior, probably going to get a little more down. Here I said, you know, could get a 60% you know, chance you're going to get more down. Well, that might be more down, and that might be more down, or that might be more down. At some point, you have bears that are disappointed, and they say, they get out of the market, and they say, I'm, okay, I'm going to wait for 10 bars and two legs and see what happens. Well, eventually, here's 10 bars, two legs. You know, Al calls it TBTL, 10 bars, two legs. All that really means is, Traders will step aside and see what the other side can do. So the bears, they get out of shorts. The market rallies a little. If it goes straight up like this, they look to sell for more of scalps or not sell at all. And the bulls start buying aggressively and buying lower. If they can't, you know, kind of like this, if they can't reverse the market and start to sell off, they start selling aggressively. And I would never think that, you know, down here, there's just, there's no one left to sell. I mean, if you really think about it, Al calls it smart bulls, weak bears, or, you know, smart bulls, weak bulls, strong bears, weak bulls. Really, it's strong bulls, strong bears, weak bulls, weak bears. But the, the whole point is you have some traders that will buy, and they'll just keep buying lower. And they're going to keep buying lower and lower and lower until, and, and they're not going to give up. So where I'm getting at, I don't want to get off topic, is 
eventually we're going to go sideways enough to where the Bears are going to say, you know, gee, maybe the Bulls just aren't strong enough. Let's sell again. But I'm not saying it's here. You know, I'm just saying you always have to wonder. We're pacing along the moving average. You have to wonder if this is a breakout and we're going to go sideways. I don't think it is. I think we're going to reverse and because that's the more likely thing to happen is consecutive sell climaxes and sideways for the rest of the day. So if I am short, you know, some traders will sell, but hard to stay short here, definitely hard to stay short here. But, you know, again, we're, we had a buy vacuum at the moving average. We had a buy vacuum at the moving, excuse me, we had a buy climax or buy vacuum to the moving average. We need to get above the moving average. We're not getting above the moving average though. So it's two bar reversal, new low, break out above the moving average. You know, is this going to be the time? Maybe. Bad follow through, break out above the moving average, follow through bar, and we're starting to pause. So now you always you always have to think. Al says, could be a double top. Tight channel, double top, double tops. Usually you always get second legs look like tight channels. First push, pause, second push, pause, third push. And it always looks like we're gonna go higher. And what you have to be careful about is, and now it's one, pause, two, pause, three. So it's a wedge top, double top, either, and you know, test of this buy climax. We may have to get there before we sell off. Maybe not. 40% chance this sells off and we and we test the lows and we get a break below and a measure move down. So you have to be careful. And when you usually when you sell a double top and you put your stop here or here or you know, a couple points above, it's forcing it to it, it's really difficult to stay short because you get this and then you get a pullback, you say that's a high one, I've got to get out. There's there's just no way this is a double top. And then you go outside down, and then you get another bull bar and you say, Oh, it's a high two. We went outside down, second entry by, we closed this gap, you know, the bulls. It's it's we're, we're bound to test up and bear bar. And then, you know, you're thinking, oh yeah, okay, wedge. We're gonna test up. And then we get a bear bar closing on its low. And then we go outside up and you're thinking, it's only a matter of time, bull breakout, follow through, and we're gonna go higher. Testing up, you know, testing up, going sideways, big bear bar, follow through bar. And, you know, what, what is this right here? Well, it is, also going to be, we have a double top, and if you have a double top, you know that you have some variant of a head and shoulders bottom, so it's a major trend reversal. The bulls, what do the bulls want? They have lows, they want a higher low and a higher high. So here's a left shoulder, head, right shoulder. The opposite's gonna be a double top. I mean, a trading range is, there's a double top and there's a double bottom. There's a there's a continuation pattern, reversal pattern. There's a, you know, just like here. It's a, we didn't really get one, ideally, but, you know, let me do it, you know, maybe like this. Not a great example, but left shoulder, head, tried to form a right shoulder. So we're pulling back. We're gonna form a right shoulder. So we have a double top, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. The bulls want a major trend reversal, the bears want to measure move down. Ultimately, we got the measure move down. I don't know if we went exactly a measure move. Kind of close. So anyways, more sideways. We're, here's where we were before. Sorry, I've got a dog walking around in the background. Again, we, you know, lower high. Some traders will still stay short. Bear breakout bar. Bad follow through, but could be a second leg trap, but probably strong enough we're gonna test lower. And you know, here inside bar, do bulls get out? I mean, do bears get out? They can, but they don't necessarily have to. Broke below the new low, is it a wedge bottom? It could be, something like that. Nothing yet. And then we have a second entry buy. You know, I'd probably get out of shorts here and look to buy a pullback. It looks like it's a form of a channel, strong enough sideways that it's probably gonna be a channel and I don't wanna be selling low and start to rally. You know, maybe a gap, follow through bar, more follow through bar, more follow through bar, follow through. 
And you know, this is some, I, I really it's hard to sell when you see this. You know, maybe you sell this close or this close. It's not easy though, because the odds are you're going to get a pullback. You're going to test the moving average. We didn't test it here. Now we're you know it's forcing you to sell really low, and that's just real difficult to do. And then we got a big big bear bar, and you know outside up probably going to test the moving average. But the problem is, you know, gee, I, I should have stayed short and just held, but that's difficult. So testing the moving average, double top. But again, we had a double top here. It was successful, at least enough to get to attempt at a measured move. Double top here, it's probably going to fail. But we got a new low, and it worked. So you have to be, you know, you can imagine the way talking about all this I ran out of time. It's so easy to get trapped and lulled into thinking, you know, we're going to reverse, we're going to reverse, we're going to reverse. And if you're not careful, you'll look back at the end of the day and say, wow, it was a big bear bar, two-legged pullback, and then a sell-off. So it's easy to get trapped in thinking that way, kind of like up here. It's easy to get trapped into the reversals and watch it rally. Uh not much more to say on this, so that's it. Thanks for watching.